Oh, poor Iris. I just realized she's going to have to feel bad because, well, I hope she knows eventually I'm going to kill her brother. It sucks to be her, but, well, that's the fate they chose. Stupid Rebel Force. Too proud to freaking hold up arms for just a minute, damn it. So let's take out Web Spider. He protects the secret weapon of the jungle. Like, seriously. If these guys weren't so freaking stubborn, this whole problem would have been resolved. But nope, of course, Sigma has to influence everybody like an asshole. Oh yeah, EX tank kicked in. I loaded up the file again from last time, so yeah. Look at that. I now have four lives to start because of that EX tank. It makes it a lot easier to bulk yourself up and, well, you have more lives to run on so you don't have to do the whole half of the stage again. Which is nice if you need it. Over some stages, it means nothing. So, you know, there it is. Also, yeah, no armor capsule here. Damn it! I wanted the foot parts to hover! I double jump. I'm better than hover. At least I feel I do. Okay, so anyway, ow! Welcome back, everybody! So let's play Mega Man X4 as Zero, as part of the Mega Man X Legacy Collection. This is your host, Ow, the MJ406. And well, another topic just came on my mind. So, for those of you who have gone through all the Mega Man X games, what would you hope the next Mega Man X game would be like? I remember the end of Legacy Collection 2 actually, like, kind of had a hint that, you know, X9 was in the works. So, you know, what was what would be the most you'd hope for in a Mega Man X game? Or, you know, what your ideal Mega Man X game would be if they were continuing from after Mega Man X8? If you're aware of that. For those of you who aren't aware, I'll just spoil one little thing. There is a third main character that shows up later in the series, but, well... He's kind of an enigma. I don't hate him, though. As a matter of fact, I like him. He's kind of a, uh, well, actually, I shouldn't really spoil it. Unfortunately, his debut was in the later portions of the Mega Man X game, so he's kind of, you know, not everybody cares for him. But, you know, I like him. And, well, I would want him to come back, of course. But, you know, they really utilized him really well. Well, he could be utilized really well. He has an interesting ability. I don't want to spoil it for those of you that don't go to the later Mega Man X games or don't care for them, but... Yeah, another character shows up. I would like him to still stick around. If they didn't keep him around, that'd be dumb. Especially considering the way his personality is. But... I would hope they'd try to do something maybe... Hmm... You know? Maybe they did it like Sonic Adventure style. Like, you know, like giving all the characters different campaigns. Like how this game did it. Like, I know, I know they're all going through the same thing, but going through the entire game with one character, but having the game, like, work out in a way. Oh, there's the Ryu engine, by the way. If you didn't remember that. And the downward one. The Haru... What's it called? The Haru Retsuzan. The Haru Retsuzan. Haru Retsuzan. I don't know how to pronounce that. Oh, God! I did a double jump by mistake. God damn it. Ready! But yeah, I would like if they like, gave separate campaigns for all the uh, Mega Man X characters. So that way, you know, they could experience the same story, but have like their own like different takes on it. Because, well, I guess another spoiler I kind of have to give away. Well, the later games, I think I spoiled it kind of. Starting with the next game forward, you can be multiple characters in the same playthrough. So, you know, you don't have to worry about, you know go through the only one character. Or if you like going through the game with another character, or go through another level or whatever, you can do it that way. You don't want to have to play through like another character you don't like, so you don't have to, you know, go through it to, to declare 100% or whatever. You can do it that way, but... I like to have them separate, because all of them have their different weaknesses and strengths. And when done right, like this game, it feels great. I wouldn't mind playing the game multiple times with different characters. It works like a, so a good 2D Sonic game in that regard. Maybe that's more what I meant. Like Sonic 3 or something. That would be great. Ah, Zero, I've been expecting you. Spider, you work for Rebel Force? I'll squash you! Huh? Yes, I lead a Renegade unit now. There's still time! Call up the coop! Wait, the what? I thought it was a coup. No, I know where my loyalties lie. Not with you. Fuck you! You asshole. But yeah, maybe I should say more like Sonic 3. Because, well, Sonic 3, I really like the way they did it. You go to the game with everybody, and they had some slight differences along the way, but you basically played the same core game. It can make you feel repetitive, but, you know, 
play them in a different gameplay style, as long as they do it right, can feel refreshing. Instead of going through what's basically the same game over and over with all the characters at your disposal, and then just trying to go through, mainly buffing one of them. So, you know, if they kind of did it like this, where every one of those three characters had their own way to go through the game and their own campaign, so to speak, I think it'd be pretty cool. Okay, that just does a little damage on you. Wow, you're a lot easier with zero, because I just slash away the spiders. Oh, well, that could happen! Ow! And he crashes into you while you're trapped. That's even worse. Oh, gotta watch out for him. There we go. But that's what I would say my ideal Mega Man X game would be if they did, if, you know, I had a say in it. Have it be like Mega Man X 4 where you could be all three of those main characters basically going through the same game where they have their, like, own little twisted turns to make it a little different for each of them along the way. I think that would be the best way for it to go. As long as they, you know, design the level so everybody's abilities can be utilized well, that'd be great. Especially the third character. Then again, we got kind of another... Eh, don't talk about it. It's spoiler territory. Anyway, we got the Raijinkeki. Special move button on the ground. That's what SM stands for. How did I not figure that out? Lightning attack. Effective against distant enemies. There you go. Split Mushroom can now be freaking stunned to death. Good. I'm going to keep Data 2 on my file forever. <laughs> Uh, all right, so who's next? Storm Owl or Slash Beast? Hmm. Slash Beast. Because Storm Owl is always a pain in the ass, especially with Zero. He's got to get close to hit him, and if he swoops down and grabs you, he's going to slam you. We'll go over that later, though. For now, it's Slash Beast. He defends the military trade to protect the supply of goods. Of course he does. Too bad the supply of goods is about to be wrecked. You know? Shouldn't we try to reacquire these goods and use them for somebody else who needs them instead of Repo Force? It just seems like we're causing wanton destruction now. I can see why some people don't like the Maverick Hunters and think we're assholes. Then again, most of those guys are the villains. Oh, oh god, no! Wow, what an idiot. I could have just done that with my Rakuhoha. What a moron. It's always fun to watch him fall. Oh, God, no, no, no! Get away from me! Ah! Oh, God, it worked! Oh, my God, it worked! <laughs> Shit. That's what I get. God damn it. That is how it is, huh? Oh, yeah, by the way. Now, I should mention this. You know Dr. Kane was present in Mega Man X2 and Mega Man X3? And was part of the plot of Mega Man X1, at least? Ah! Wow, really? Again? Well... Let's just say Dr. Kane's gone. For some reason, they basically make him dead, I guess? Yeah, he's not around anymore. I don't know why. Dr. Kane's just gone now. As with all the other humans. He was the only human you would see in these friggin' X Games anyway. I used to think Doppler was, but I forgot. He was a robot. That's why there is no... There's nothing against fighting him by X and company. I forgot he was a Reploid. I don't know why I thought he was a human before, but yep. No more humans in the X series. So, yeah. All you got are robots from this point forward. How do you think more human involvement would make the stories, you know, maybe a little more exciting? <laughs> Have fun with the other spike train! What spike train? Oh, that spike train. Ah, oh, neat. Let's make this easy. Get rid of the one at the bottom so you can have easy time. Do that, and it's easy. There we go. Oh, yeah, it's just closer as you destroy some of these. You also use the spinning slash to get through this easily, but get rid of the bottom ones, and you get, get rid of the bottom one, you just slash the middle one, and then you just jump slash the top one. Makes that one really easy. I guess I should say rolling slash the top one. Yeah, I'll go with that. All right, let's go. You're all my way, and you must die. You all must die. Any ability I have on me I haven't used yet? Oh, yeah, the Raiju Jek... Raiju Geki. Just press special attack button. Yeah! Not really impressive, that one. It has its uses, though. And you can only use it on the ground. Wow, the Raiju Geki's not that good. Ow! You mind? Oh, my... Respawn, you son of a bitch. He's coming back! 
God, you know what? I should just ignore him. That's not working out well for me. I'm not going to win that war. <laughs> I keep winning the battles, but I will not win the war. I got to back off. We'll have to fight another day. Not like an idiot. Ow! Damn it. I must keep holding up without realizing it. I guess because I jump, I somewhat accidentally hold up a little. So I'm accidentally jumping. Oh! Oh, did it like freeze there a little bit? That was weird. That scared me for a moment. Just seeing that red flash was like, whoa! My eyes were a little frightened by that. No! Haha, -ha, I made it. I wonder if I can keep the ride armor further in the stage. I doubt it, but I could try it. Hey! Nope. Okay, they don't let you keep it. I didn't think they would. It's only Magma Dragoon. Yeah, still makes it one of the only fights in the X-Series that you could actually use a ride armor to fight a boss with. One of the only. Then again, the other fight in the X-Series you can do that with is much harder to do so that way. Because, well, the way the stage is set up, you'll probably lose your ride armor. But hey, it's nice to have options, right? Now get... Ah! Oh man, I'm definitely going to die to this boss. I don't see any way I'm not going to die to this boss. Because this is one of my personal least favorites to go after is Zero. Because, you know, he's a close-range combatant. But I think it'll be good. That means he's good up close. Which means, well, I'm kind of putting myself at a disadvantage because of it. God, he's fast. That is really badass. So he just runs to catch up on the train. You dare to attack my unit? I'm going to enjoy fighting you. Bring it on! Oh, he just has an attack that is just him roaring. He only does that early on in the fight, though. Later on, he stops fooling around with that. Like, why waste time with that move? Why is it time to go, Gah! I know it's supposed to just be intimidating for early on in the fight, but really, you're just wasting your breath, dude. Ah! Damn it. I stood still to slash. That was a bad move. All right, now he's going to go crazy. Now, this is the boss you do not want to hit him during the counter when you're zero. <laughs> okay. And watch out for that move. That's his most powerful move when he does the freaking flying across the screen slash. Ow. Okay, good. Well, if you can hit him during the counter when he's nearly dead, the counter won't even matter because you'll kill him. So, don't worry about it. If he's nearly dead, just go for it. That's relieving. You know, that's a good, easy way to kill you. I appreciate that. And victory is ours! Ah, good. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Then again, I have a lot I have a lot of my stuff in hand, so that's probably good for me. Anyway, the sip It's just Shapuga down there! You wrote Sapuga up there! What the hell? Ugh. Special move button while dashing. You can execute a powerful dash blade attack. Approach your enemy with Sapuga and perform a combo. Which one is it? God damn it. I think it's supposed to be pronounced Shapuga, but it might be spelled Sapuga. I don't know. Either way, Shapuga. Oh, God. These spelling errors. Like, at least typing you can fix up. Voice acting's kind of hard to fix if you only go for a couple takes, but... Typing, you could just delete the characters and pre put it in the right way. Jeez. I I don't know. I just don't know sometimes. Anyway, here's Storm Owl. He left the space fortress to conquer the air. Who's the head for the air? And apparently he hates being referred to as Storm Eagle for some reason. Again, there are personalities in all these Mavericks, but I don't know why. I wonder if there's like a manga counterpart to this. There probably is. I think that's what it is. I think there's a corresponding, like, manga series to go along with these games that kind of goes over the main story and what it was actually like to give detail to everybody. I think that's where it gets a lot of its information, if I had to guess. Because otherwise, it's just connecting lines that aren't there. But I guess it doesn't matter. Either way, you're all gonna die. Anyway, anyway hang on. How many tanks do? Alright. One E sub tank full. The other, the second E sub tank, along with the W sub tank, 
Nearly full. Ow, you bastard! Wow, nice shot! Nice shot, jackass! You missed. Go! Oh god, I nearly jumped off! That would've been bad. Why am I not doing the charge attack? It works better. Just charge attack them! Look how powerful this thing is! Why am I wasting my energy? Okay, so you can be hurt in the ride armor. Good to know. I guess they actually attack you in it. That makes sense. For some reason, I never thought they could, though. Usually, the other games don't work like that. Oh, wait, now I got a heart tank. So I guess you can't get hurt in the ride armor. Is this glitch? Oh, God. It's gonna blow! No! Ow. Yep, there you go. See, that's how you tell it's gonna blow up. Oh, God. Mm, this jump's gonna be a lot harder now. Well, let's do a dash. Whoa, jump! There we go. Get away, get away, get away! Huh. What? Harder without the ride armor. Oh, I saw health energy drop down there. Damn it, I gotta use that. I'm gonna fill my sub tank, you son of a bitch. All right, then. How about you move out of my way? How about you move out of my way? How about you move out of my way? And you move out of my way. You move out of my way. God damn it, stop getting my way! Jeez. These things are obnoxious. Wah. Why did I come up here? <laughs> Good view, though. Of all the other ships. Ah! You forgot? Damn it. See, there's not even any point going anywhere where the armors are for X. Going there is zero. The except for Cyber Peacock stage doesn't move things around. There's no point in going to them, so don't. Ow, father. You all mind getting out of my way? Oh, that was close. Eh, I thought it was going to be a big deal. Heh. Oh, yeah, I do have the... Oh, well, of course I have the weakest for Storm Owl. Checking my Giga Attack, if I'm not mistaken. All right, time for you to die. Eat it, you... Nope. Thankfully, using Zero, I can get through this a lot more easily because I can actually focus on the laser guys and easily slash this door away. Stupid door. What kind of faith did you think you had in yourself? What? Never mind. Let's just go. Here we go. It's time for Storm Owl. Oh, I don't know if I'll win this in one try. I want to use his weakness on him. I only have limited uses, though, so you can tell what it is. Why do you charge us as Mavericks? Wait, stop the coop! The what? Oh, one of the. Wait, there are other birds? No, oh, sorry, I meant coo. Oh, god damn it. No, we're just why you doing this. That's what you think. Alright then. Let's see how justified you are after I friggin' slash you to death. Come here. Ah, God, no! Ow! Yeah, don't let him grab you or slam you like that. Yay! Damn it! And you can't shake out of it either. Once you're caught in it, you're caught in it. So you want to be really careful about how you slash him. And if you slash him enough, he puts on the barrier. Wow, nice aim, jackass. Whoa! That was close. Oh, damn it. Oh, God. Well, he's going to give me trouble. I don't want to use my sub tags on him, though. Whoa! So, come on. Come on down and fight me like a man. Bitch. Wow, really? Okay. Cool. I beat everybody without using their weakness. Then again, with zero, let's, you know... You just gotta be skilled at that point. Ah. If only it was as smooth and fun as in the Zero series. It's still fun, just not quite the same. Oh, right, by the way, you may want to do this stage first if you're crazy, because you get this. It's an enhanced Z-Saber. You can cut enemy energy shots with your Saber. Can I do that before? I think it's stronger energy projectiles now. So yeah, all it does is buff up your saber. So yeah, you basically have a stronger saber slash now. That's all it is. But there you go. Alright, I'm going to fill up all my stuff before we end off this episode. Yeah, we're ending it early. Surprising. But well, because of what the end game could be, it could be really long if I don't do it this way. Ripper Force is at the Space Harbor. I have to go. No! Please.
Please wait, Zero! I don't want to see you two fight! Someone has to stop your brother! I'm leaving! Oh, man. You're really putting her down, dude. You're an asshole. Well, let me go fill up my stuff first, and show off the rest of my attacks while I'm at it. So! Yep. Now it's purple! So I'm gonna I can get rid of more energy shocks. I'm just gonna fill up my lives at the very least. I mean, my energy tanks. Oh, never mind. They're full. Weapon tanks, then. But yep, if you're wondering how I grind up all that stuff, this is the method. If you want it for the achievement, I'll show you how to do it. I don't know if you can only get it with X or if you can do it with zero as well. I still need all the items that you can get and fill up all your lives and sub tanks and heart tanks and all that. So just do it this way. Your escape button's still there, by the way. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Whoops. There we go. That's what I meant to do. Oh, yeah, I need to show up the other move, too. Right. Wait, I don't need to see. What the hell am I doing? All right, then. Let's go fill it up more. I need to show up the last move. Which was the, uh... Wait, what did I get the last move? Slash beast move. Oh, dash slash. Wave the saber! Show off all the new... Show off all of zero special moves. That's another reason why I wanted to do that. So, yep. You show off the charge versions of all of X's attacks. Show off all the special attacks of zero. And easy achievements. Blow up all the tanks and all that, and you're good to go. Oh, wait. There is one achievement I forgot I need to get with X, but, well... Hmm. Actually, I guess I could do that, too. You know what? Screw this. I'll fill this up later. What am I doing? I saved, so I'm good. Actually, should I do this now? God damn it. Yeah, you know what? I'll do this later. God damn it. Now I just wasted my time. Use the current data. Oh, yeah. There you go. I guess because you, if you didn't have a memory card for the PlayStation 1 for some reason. Well, it keeps whatever is active on your file going. But you can always, you know, load up the save file if you wanted to do it from there. But, well, if you did it that way... Oh, everything's still empty. Son of a bitch. Oh, why did I do that? I wanted to show something off, but maybe I, I decide I'm going to wait till after I get through Zero's playthrough. Because, well, going in the middle of this playthrough, maybe rise and feel a little off. In that case, I should have done the end of X play, X's playthrough. Son of a bitch. Anyway, there's how much you can fill up normally every time you go through here. You need to do it about six times to fill up your weapon tank, four times to fill up your energy tanks, and you've got the EX tank three times to get yourself all the lives you need. Okay. All right, well, I'm going to end this episode here because I realized I'm a freaking idiot. I'm going to refill just to be safe. Besides, zero, I might make mistakes. I know I tend to do that sometimes. So, one we'll the short episode here. Finally, a short episode. God. Well, come back next time. We're going to go to the spaceport. And then we're going to take on the colonel. Hmm. Now I really feel like sorry, sorry for Iris. I knew I was going to have to kill her brother, but jeez. She told me not to. But I decided, screw you. The rebel force needs to be stopped. I don't care about your personal feelings. I don't love you the way you love me. Jeez, you don't love anybody. You're a dick. 